right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters are 31, with big differences in height and reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 241 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Dynamite. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of. 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? Are you ready? All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Right hand punches the plane. Rock him, suck him out of the suit here. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the belt. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Big kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. That elbow got to the target very quick in that clinch. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Big body kick. Ooh, what a punch. Well, that's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now he's got that tight punch. Well, he has done some serious damage with these elbows, DC. And if you're on the other side, you got to figure out a way to stop this one. You got to get those hands up. You got to block whenever you're in tight. Make sure you're not taking all these nasty elbows. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? All right, he engages in the single collar dive. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and he lands yet another uppercut. So those strikes have come in bunches tonight, really starting to find some consistency. He's finding consistency because he knows that that is a strike that he can find at any time. He's so confident in finding that uppercut that it's landing over and over again. So 41 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Look at the control of the posture as that big knee lands. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. 
over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Nice strikes. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Nice kick there by Nermago Meta. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Blocks the shot. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Oh, nice. Well, excellent takedown defense so far in this fight. And there it is again. He knew if he was going to win this fight, he was going to have to stop the shot. And he has certainly done that so far. He has done a great job of staying upright. He understands positioning. He understands finding defense and getting back in the space where he's having the most success. Tie here. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know you I do. think it's so, so good. <laughs> but there's a guy, I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights, and he's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off of his opponent. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issues. Connects with a right. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Good. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. That strike blocked by Nermako Medov. Oh, and there's the double. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity, you feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, next round is underway here. The big storyline in our previous round, takedown defense, right? It seemed like there were some good shots in there, and yet he wasn't able to get him down. I mean, his hips, he's got such heavy hips. Yeah. He's bringing the hips into you when you shoot on him, and then he's moving your head to the inside. He's wizarding you. He's bringing his foot back to the mat. He has an understanding of wrestling defense that is very hard to learn so late. He has done that as a martial artist. You can take him down there. I think I can still get him. Uh, one. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Ball lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. He's going to start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. So he submits courtesy of the rear naked choke. That guy's got a squeeze on him. He does a great job securing the position, getting under the neck, and then hiding his hands in order to get the finish. Fantastic performance by this fighter. 
Unbelievable. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Well, yeah, so the work in the gym pays off here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Gorgeous setup on the choke, and I think even better execution down the stretch. Clearly, it was sunk in deep. His opponent had no choice but to tap or take a nap. In this case, he chose to tap out. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. All right, so there is the consensus baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. He leaned on the grappling. That was the path of least resistance, and that is the man they are all chasing for UFC heavyweight gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergley out has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 26 seconds at round number two. Declaring the winner by a tap out due to a rear naked choke and still Still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains that. He is the standard by which all heavyweights are measured. 